Hey guys, Rob with SNS Archery here. We're out at the beautiful Boise uh, Archery Range, and I just kind of wanted to go over uh, my bow setup this year for 2022. Justin kind of went through his setup, and I kind of wanted to get through uh, uh, get through mine here as well. I want to start with my bow. It is the new Matthews V3X. I was really intrigued with this bridge lock. Uh, that allows you to mount your sight in the riser itself. Um, really excited about that. I've definitely noticed that uh, it really does reduce uh, hand torque that's required to, to keep your bow balanced. Um, it's really uh, a neat setup. I'll just go through my gear here. Uh, first, the sight that, that I'm running is the is the black gold pro hunter but this is our version this is what we call the backcountry pro hunter we put the four inch dovetail on there you can see obviously it fits perfectly in the uh in the bridge lock and then we change the pins up the pin setup on this setup is uh 319s 210s we really like the green pins because they're really bright and low light and they tend to blur the least in bright sunlight so we have all uh, green pins and a yellow pin in the middle just to kind of break things up uh, that symmetrical view uh, really kind of helps my brain uh, not think about the yardages so much and, I, and I'm just able to get to the pin quickly and easily. My quiver is a tight spot five arrow. You can see that I've got the tight spot quivers dovetail going into the riser, but it mounts right up in the pocket of this bow. Uh, with this setup, I really, really like it. Um, very little torque uh, on, my, on my grip, even with the quiver full of arrows. Uh, next is the arrow rest. This is the Hamsky Epsilon and you'll notice that it does have the Matthews mount on it and so there's no play there whatsoever. It's right up against the riser. Uh, it's a perfect fit. We had to do very little uh, tuning to get this dialed in. My favorite thing about this Epsilon is simply how fast and quick and easy it is to get it dialed in. Um, very, very easy. Uh, the timing is super easy. Um, you don't, it doesn't require a draw board or anything like that. Uh, next I want to talk about the Spider Archery Tracker. Uh, this is the 8 inch version. Uh, the tracker comes with a, a smaller diameter rod, also a Bojax dampener, and I've got 4 ounces of weight at the end. Uh, this is an 8 inch, normally I like a, a little bit longer, but I did add the uh, quick disconnect, uh, which allows you to take it on and off very easily. Um, and that gives me uh, about a 10 and a half inch uh, stabilizer. The peep I'm running this year is uh, the same peep I've been running for a few years now. It's the Raptor. This particular one is a 532nd, um, and it lines up really well with my sight housing. Uh, I, I have just a sliver of daylight inside the peep around my sight housing, uh, and that works really well for me. The arrows I'm running this year are the uh, five millimeter FMJs. Uh, this is the match grade. I got a heck of a deal from a buddy on these. Arrow weight on this is about 500 grains. Um, I'm using the AA Max Stealth. I uh, really like these, this arrow setup so far. Uh, gives me a little bit heavier arrow uh, than I'm used to running. Um, but, uh, but so far it's been, it's been a great setup. Broadheads. You know, it's funny, I've been using the same solid broadheads for probably five years now. I still have quite a few left. I really like the way they, they fly, um, and I get great penetration. And the release I'm running this year is the Carter 2 Simple. Uh, it's a thumb release. Uh, super easy to uh, cock it onto the D-loop. I like this shorter neck. Uh, it gives me just a little bit of draw length, and, and I definitely need a little bit of extra draw length. Um, I've been shooting this for quite a few years and, and, and really like it. Um, if you have any questions on my setup or any of the gear that I've talked about, uh, feel free to reach out, give us a call. Uh, we're happy to help you get it set up this year.